Wow, this is too much. So here we have a mother on the screen. Her daughter not only worked as a police officer, okay? Going to school, doing Uber to do what? To make her payments to finish college, working on her PhD. Taking care of her mother, paying for her education, buying gifts for other children in the community. And if you listen, that those want her children. Where are the children's daddy at? Look on the screen. Look on the screen. I wish I had a magical power. I would really end a lot of dust. These are the same men y'all want to fight for. Oh, they make it so hard for these black men. Yeah, the black men make it hard for black women because that's who killing you. They make it so hard for these men and they make it hard for black women. How about this is a good example, in my opinion, of a $50 billion liability boy. I wish the, they would hashtag him. So here, mother and daughter. Again, she worked in law enforcement, a side job doing Uber Eats. She should have saw chocolate drop and kept on going. Oh, well, you can profile. Well, you might want to profile. Might be a good way to stay alive, especially for black women. These men, a lot of these men hate you a whole lot more than you want to pretend. And they are not the same as our fathers or our aunt. These are some certified dust buckets. They are diabolical. They are deadly. What was she doing with her life? In law enforcement. Then getting a PhD. Doing Uber to pay for the PhD. She was also taking care of her mom who's ill. Yeah, let, let's go back. L listen, listen. You can't just go take nobody's life. Somebody who not doing you nothing. Just take their life. He did. That's my only child. I don't have no, no When your child leave in the morning, you expect to see him come back, you know. Edna Dillon is living with cancer. Her only child, Yolanda Dillon, was everything to her. She took very good care. She made my groceries and cook and and I bought everything, you know, she took paid all my bills and things. So he just left me with nobody. You know? So the woman has cancer. Her daughter lives with her, pays all the expenses. Who the heck going to pay them that? Oh, my. I'm so, th this community is, I'm so sick of these dust bucket black men. Law enforcement, enforcement ain't working fast enough to hashtag the dust buckets. Oh, you shouldn't say that. Well, hell, he shouldn't have did that. But I know in the BC, which means black community, or oh, they got to sympathize with Tyrone. This woman has cancer. This is her soul support right now. This who pays all her bills. And she's killed by who? Not the Klan, no. A black man who basically works for the Klan. That's what they do. The idea is to destroy you. This is the only community that takes out its best and brightest. Most of these men, these chocolate drops, dust buckets, they are low-performing, broke-ass POS, ain't got a pot, ain't got C-H-I-T, ain't got shit. They ain't worth shit. They don't even deserve to breathe. This community, this is what happens. I keep telling you, when the BC, in the BC, the black community, this is what happens. Go to work and try to have a business with some positive with your life. The worst place you can sometimes be is around a chocolate drop in the BC. So she's gone. Again, the mother has cancer. Her daughter pays all her bills. Where's the husband or baby dad? I doubt he left a life insurance policy. Her daughter pays all her bills, has a job in law enforcement, doing Uber Eats, 
and to help pay for her tuition, pick up this diabolical chocolate drop. And don't forget what they said. This is how evil they are. But the mammy still want to cape for him. They said he even recorded it. He recorded the aftermath of killing that woman and then put on his social media on Facebook. But y'all want to get in the benefit of the doubt. Man, you got a dust bucket in a black woman. You a damn fool for having one in your house. Check it. Listen. Yolanda was 54, a breast cancer survivor. She lived with her mom and was one step away from getting her PhD in sociology. She was driving Uber to make extra money for tuition costs. Hold on. She was what? Sociology. She was driving Uber to make extra money for tuition costs and all the Christmas gifts for family and church children. Uh, what was he doing? A breast cancer survivor. She lived with her mom. So she was a breast cancer survivor. Survived the cancer, but can't survive a dusty. Living with cancer. And correction, I thought it was a mom that had cancer. Living with cancer. Working in law enforcement and still a second job at Uber. Eats. What these Negroes doing? What's the chocolate drop doing? Living with cancer, has a job in law enforcement, and working Uber Eats on the side. Getting her PhD, gifts, Christmas gifts, and what else? Mom, and was one step away from getting her PhD in sociology. She was driving Uber to make extra money for tuition costs and all the Christmas gifts for family and church children. This is what the this is what these black dusty black men will do for you. Why she have to buy uh gives okay I see family but church children where's the daddy at? Why was this Negro not driving Uber? They don't want a job but they will kill and rob. They don't want a job but they will kill and rob. And they will kill and rob uh, more than anybody, black women. But y'all want to put that cape on for them. Oh, oh, okay. Knowing that the hatred, and you can pretend it's not there if you want to. Knowing the hatred that they have, a lot of black women, uh, you, uh, and, and they can, trust me, there's a Dusty Dan too. A dusty, we've seen Dusty Dan abandon a man, Dusty Dan the murdering man. But knowing that the hatred for black women is out there, the jealousy... You might see a chocolate drop, and I'm sorry if it was me doing Uber, honey. I would. I, I'm not gonna stop. Who is it? Uh, I'm gone. Hey, you. You can do whatever you want to do. This on the screen. We don't want to face it. I hate to say it for black women. This is your biggest enemy. You, this is your biggest enemy. Don't is a is a dusty black man. That's your, I'm, I'm. I'm gonna say that's your biggest enemy right there. Oh, 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 it is. And if, if you're not a dusty, if it doesn't apply, let it fly. I don't want to hear about your daddy or cousin. Hell, my daddy wasn't a dusty. He was a darn provider, okay? And that's what the hell I end up with, a provider. These men are not our father. Nothing but trash. Breeding trash. Ra raising trash. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. What was she doing with her life? Staying with her mom. PhD in sociology. Two jobs. Yolanda was 54, a breast cancer survivor. She lived with her mom and was one step away from getting her PhD in sociology. She was driving Uber to make extra money for tuition costs and all the Christmas gifts for family and church children. She was on an Uber run, and J.P. Sheriff Lapinto says she picked up 29-year-old Brandon Jacobs and dropped him off at the Travel Lodge in Harvey around 3 o'clock Thursday. As they pulled in, he just stabbed her from the back. Mm. You see him walk away. The next person goes to get in the Uber and sees the crime and runs back in for help. When we asked him specifically, how did you pick 
her. His his response was, I didn't pick her, Uber picked her. You know, meaning that she was the random person that picked him up that day. Deputies arrested Jacobs of Harvey. He is charged with second degree murder. The sheriff says there is a mental health aspect to this case. I say it's a dust bucket health aspect to this case. It's too many. It's a dust bucket aspect to this case. Listen to this we last thing. Videotaped the um, the incident or uh, the aftermath of the incident posted on social media. Now, do you, you still want to try to cape for these men? Okay, listen to what the sheriff said in closing. Okay, they just need a chance. Be laughing to them while they take yours. I'm so sick of these men. I can, wish I could put them all on a ship and I'd sink it. The sheriff says there is a mental health aspect to this case. Are you actually video? <coughs> the um the incident or uh, the aftermath of the incident posted on social media we had to work with facebook last night uh to get that removed this you heard week. that this is what they'll do <coughs> sorry i'm done i'm out thanks for watching